Back in 1927, an American socialist, Norman Thomas, six times candidate for president on the Socialist Party ticket, said the American people would never vote for socialism. But he said under the name of liberalism, the American people will adopt every fragment of the socialist program. One of the traditional methods of imposing statism or socialism on a people has been by way of medicine. It's very easy to disguise a medical program as a humanitarian project. Most people are a little reluctant to oppose anything that suggests medical care for people who possibly can't afford it. James Madison in 1788, speaking to the Virginia Convention, said, Since the general civilization of mankind, I believe there are more instances of the abridgment of the freedom of the people by gradual and silent encroachment of those in power than by violent and sudden usurpations. Now in our country, under our free enterprise system, we have seen medicine reach the greatest heights that it has in any country in the world. Today, the relationship between patient and doctor in this country is something to be envied any place. The privacy, the care that is given to a person, the right to choose a doctor, the right to go from one doctor to the other. But let's also look from the other side at the freedom the doctor loses. First, you decide that the doctor can have so many patients. They're equally divided among the various doctors by the government. But then the doctors aren't equally divided geographically. And from here, it's only a short step to dictating where he will go. All of us can see what happens once you establish the precedent that the government can determine a man's working place and his working methods, determine his employment. From here, it's a short step to all the rest of socialism, to determining his pay, and pretty soon, your son won't decide when he's in school where he will go or what he will do for a living. He will wait for the government to tell him where he will go to work and what he will do. What can we do about this? Well, you and I can do a great deal. We can say right now that we want no further encroachment on these individual liberties and freedoms. And at the moment, the key issue is we do not want socialized medicine. said that we should try to go ahead and get single payer. What I said was that if I were starting from scratch, if, if we didn't have a system in which employers had typically provided health care, I would probably go with a single payer system. I don't think people are, are strategic in that way, first of all, in, in the sense that most people want health care. The reason they don't have it is they can't afford it. I haven't ruled out a mandate somewhere in the future. What I don't want to do is set up a set of false expectations where we say we've achieved universal coverage because we've set up a mandate but people can't buy the coverage and so we built the structure in order to make sure that everybody has access to good coverage and then I'm open absolutely to you know trying to round up the stragglers but if, if you pull get, them in if you get I think we can achieve about a hundred to 150 billion dollars worth of savings instituting my plan that we then use to make sure that people have coverage and to provide these subsidies. How do we get the federal government to take care of its business? I happen to be a proponent of a single payer universal health care plan.
the American people want something from Congress regardless of its political complexion, if they make their wants known, Congress does what the people want. And if this man tells you that he too is for free enterprise, but we have these great services and so forth that must be performed by government, don't let him get away with it. Show that you have not been convinced and tell him that you believe in government economy and fiscal responsibility, that you know that governments don't tax to get the money they need. Governments will always find a need for the money they get. And that you demand the continuation of our traditional free enterprise system. And if you don't do this, and if I don't do it, one of these days, you and I are going to spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it once was like in America when men were free.